Here's a little review of the uh, Honda Foreman 450ES model. The electric shifter. Up to shift up and down to shift down. It's got the stock tires on it. Mine does anyways. Which surprisingly held up pretty good seeing as it has how many miles on it. 5,205 which is pretty good for stock tires stock everything and some more stock stuff a little bit dirty as of now should have seen it the other day though there's a stock pipe I like the sound of it a lot to tell you the truth nice deep sound a little dirty there's the uh, axle and a little carrier a little protection there kinda nice and you're smashing it off of rocks and shit. The ball. I think it's two inch, but let's see, it might say right here. It's up to two thousand pounds. I think it's a two inch. It doesn't look like it though. There's a four by four sticker that I power washed off half of it. Yeah. The grips are kind of worn on it, but that'll happen with riding and shit. There's the winch that I got on her. The in and out and all that jazz. Choke, because it is carbureted. 2003. And that fuel-injected fancy fancy stuff. But it's a good bike, I'll tell you. There's where the winch should go. But like a retard, I hauled her out. Together. That's Buddy got that put on that we bought it off of. I think it's kind of cool. I don't really care what you guys think. And that's for the awesome, amazing aerodynamics when you're flying 400 miles an hour. That's what this bike will do, at the very least. Shit, I'm on reserve. Yes. yes. Oil. <laughs> Free. Pretty simple, I would assume. I really took it apart. I've gone 2,500 kilometers on my last oil change, which is pretty good. Runs like new. Someone ripped my plate off, which wasn't very nice when the little toy cop said hello. Anyways, there's the gun rack, because I'm an avid hunter. But this kind of gets annoying, because it'll come over like that and you're trying to lean in and you get a freaking gun holder right in your hip that's not too nice big ass headlight on her I think it makes it look like you have to be 80 years old to drive it but it works a couple more headlights there radiator is nice and tucked in you're not gonna bend it or shaft driven of course do boot. The only problem that I've ever had with this bike is since it's ES, you need sensors and electricity and all that fun stuff to shift it. And I've had a few troubles with it just getting stuck in gear. And that's kind of a piss off because you have to shut the bike off, you have to rock it back and forth like that, sometimes front and back. And that's a piss off. So far, I found the ergonomics pretty good. Handlebars are in perfect place. My brakes are almost gone. You can only catch right there. Front brakes, well, they're just gone until you pump them. Now, let's see. Ugh. So you take off the seat. I don't really find any point of doing that there's warnings and dumb people and whatnot I got the racks, I had the seat on it that's what these are for that, that's a little foot the seat it's actually pretty comfortable once you have everything up but the gun rack kind of fucks that over anyways yeah. good digital display on it nice oil light, four wheel drive now, this doesn't have a locking front differential, but 
I never found a spot that I ever needed it. Which, I don't know what everyone else rides, but I ride hard trails, I ride fast trails, I run swamps, mud, everything, race tracks. This bike's done everything pretty freaking good. Got the eight balls down there. It's pretty trick, son. Go with that. I don't really give two shits about looks, so the rims stock is all hell. Never had a bolt fall off. And a tire along with it, so that's pretty good, I must say. That wouldn't be too fun experience. There's a Honda, better clean that off. You gotta show people it's a Honda so you can be proud of it. Instead of these, it's got the fixed axle. But instead of the uh, single shock, it's got the dual shocks, which I find is a pretty comfortable ride. Drum brake. Pretty pretty simple, I must say. The fenders. Good job. Get, keeping the mud off you. Yeah? Unlike sport bikes. Which is kind of nice, but I don't really care about that too much. Again, with the soft tires, they held up some freaking good. I do quite a bit of road running on the racetrack, a whole shit ton. So, for those who stay that good, I'm happy with that. There's the uh, A-arms in there. There's that. And all that fun stuff. The engine in these is mainly for bottom end torque. You know, 450. Even if it's mainly for bottom end torque, you're not going to be pulling uh, 20 km an hour wheelies just by asking it to. You got to really work the bike. Uh, excuse me, moi. There's a little spring that came with it. That's that's pretty freaking cool. It makes a nice noise. Yeah, I like that noise. There's some uh, there's some old duct tape. Pretty nice. I think I bought this last year with I think it had 2,500 kilometers on it. And the thing was friggin' mint. And I drive it pretty friggin' hard. Like, I hit jumps. Like, you probably saw in some of my videos the jumps that I hit. And the shocks. They're still pretty friggin' stolid. Stolid. Wow, I'm retired. Solid. On my Rhino, on the other hand, the front shocks are gone on that. Little pull start. In case your finger fell off and you can't press the electric start. Ah, uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Now, under 16. Too bad I'm 14. I, I think it would be really funny if, like, it just sensed if you were under 16, and as soon as you jumped on the bike, the seat, like, ejected you. And just threw you like a hundred feet in the air. I don't think you jump on the bike again until you're 16. I think it'd be funny. One thing that ever happened to this bike. I was driving in rough as all hell terrain. And a stick came up from under here. Right up in there. And I tried to back up. And it ripped this whole freaking fender off. Now all I did was just pop these back in. It's all good. Solid and all that fun stuff. 12 volt little outlet. I never actually used that before. I barely even knew where it was. Reverse is pretty simple. You push that little reverse button in and you haul the brake back into neutral. And pop her down. The lights on this are very good. Kill switch. Two and four wheel drive slider switch. These have a fairing on it too, that's what that's from. It's a choke. Yeah. I'll let you listen to her run for a second. Pull the choke, never had it going today. <laughs>
down in the muffler. I like it. And there's my puppy. I don't think he likes it as much. Yeah. Sound of it revving there. I got a bracket that blew somewhere. I don't know where the hell it is. It's 140 odd brackets on here. And you can hear it at a certain RPM right there. It's kind of sketchy. But anyway, shut that off there. Awesome bike. Love it. Since it's a Honda, you know you're getting that reliability. You don't get all the power that all the other companies say that they got, like Polaris and those shit little bikes that they make. Yeah. Anyways, not too much suspension travel on it. I don't know how much exactly. But, I don't know. Still comfy. I like it. Yeah. Again, thick through the midsection. So that's one thing to watch out for. All in all, I would recommend this bike to anyone.